One of the big issues we're facing with officers and our, uh, our ranks when they leave the military after 22 years once because they usually have a serious issue. They usually have a very serious issue with unemployment outside. Why? Because there is not an immediate translation of their skills. Madam Speaker, it costs this government, well not this government, it costs governments money to train and to create soldiers. It is not an easy thing, hence that's why you heard, you hear things of recruitment training, boot camp, you hear officers going to Guyana, to Canada, to Sandhurst, West Point. It costs money because you need professional soldiers along our border. So these are some of the issues that I believe has to be addressed by any, any changes to the Defense Act, issues where of proper equipment for our soldiers, issues of, for those who are now retiring, the ability to translate some of their skills into the private force. As well, Madam Speaker, I was about to forget this one, as well, I believe it is time now that our military starts being covered by Social Security. Just this morning, one of the texts I got where this guy now, he's out of the military for six years, I'm uh, sorry, for six months now. He has not gotten his pension. He has not, he has no job. And well, he has no so social security to collect from. So he is unemployed. And he is a retired warrant officer. So how does he go and say, all right, I can work out there. A lot of these uh, farmer soldiers who are highly trained, who our government have invested a lot of money in. All right, when you see them, you see them working as security guards at the different banks, at different institutions. And they're very professional and they're good at it. But again, like I said, you know, from when you go to an organization that is highly professional, well designed, for them to just re literally just reach as a security guard who minds the door, I think we're, we're, losing, we're losing some special skills here, Madam Speaker. Maybe it is time to, to consider at the BDF that probably in the last year of the prior to retirement, that these soldiers can get some kind of counseling and preparing them to, to get another kind of job if they want to be an electrical or a carpentry, or whatever it is that they do. I think that's the least that we owe to them. Madam Speaker, we will all acknowledge that we owe a debt of gratitude to our uniformed forces, our national security personnel, as they work tirelessly across this country to ensure that this country is kept safe, Madam Speaker. Our military personnel, should be compensated after serving this country. They work very hard, Madam Speaker, and I agree, you know, opportunities in education, but I would also go further. I believe that every Belizean who serves, whether in the military or the police, and I would even add doctors and nurses and teachers, should Coast Guard, should ensure, Madam Speaker, the government should ensure that they get a piece of land, a piece of land where they can build a decent house, where they can, you know, create their own little farms, you know, after they retire. I believe that that is very important. And that is one way in which the government can show gratitude for the service that they have provided for our country, Madam Speaker. All of what has been said is valid. The theme first proposed by the leader of the opposition, or perhaps it came originally from the member for Corsair Southeast, and certainly our friend from Toledo West ended on a very strong note uh, with respect to endorsing all that has been said about the welfare of the men and women in the media. And it's absolutely valid, and there can be no counter argument to the articulation of the case that they have been advocated. But that has nothing to do with the bill. That was not the purpose of this bill. It's not my bill, well, it's my bill because I'm presenting it, but it's basically, this is something coming from the Belize Defense Force. And why it has been so late was because they wanted to be sure that they got it absolutely right from the point of view of what they saw as the issues that they wanted to have address.